Welcome to Textile Knowledge. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of Dyneema, a fiber called the world's strongest fiber. From its history to the science behind it, dear viewers, let's discover what makes Dyneema a marvel of material engineering. Our story starts with a gas called ethylene, which is processed in polymerization plant to make polyethylene. For the formation of Dyneema powder, we use this polyethylene as a raw material. Next, the powder is dissolved and then heated in an extruder, using our gel spinning process to disentangle the molecules. The heated substance is forced through a plate with hundreds of tiny holes, at which point the resulting elongated molecules begin to resemble a fiber. This is when high-strength Dyneema begins to take shape. Now viewers, we define what is actually Dyneema. Dyneema is a synthetic fiber made from ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene. This polymer is part of the polyethylene family, but differ from other members of family due to its molecular weight and strength. Now before knowing more about Dyneema, here we talk about what is polyethylene. Polyethylene is a polymer made up of repeating ethylene units, as in picture. Routine. Polyethylene is found in everyday life, items like plastic bags and bottles, having a molecular weight of 100,000 to 500,000 grams per mole. Whereas ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene is found in Dyneema, with molecular weights between 3 to 6 million grams per mole or higher. Molecular weight refers to the total mass of the atoms in a polymer molecule. The ultra-high molecular weight in Dyneema means its polymer chains are exceptionally long. These chains give it super strength, durability, and resistance. These interactions make the fiber incredibly strong. Now guys, we discuss about the historical timeline of Dyneema's invention. Dyneema's journey began in 1963, when Dutch scientist Albert Pennings discovered ultra-strong polyethylene fibers while working at Dutch state mines in the Netherlands. Throughout the 1970s and early 1980s, the company Dutch State Mines invested heavily in refining the production process. By 1978, they developed a scalable gel spinning method, and in 1990, Dyneema was officially launched into the market. Key characteristics of Dyneema Dyneema isn't just strong, it's packed with unique characteristics. It is 15 times stronger than steel on a weight-to-weight -weight basis. It can float on water having density of only 0.97 grams per cubic centimeter. It has 85 to 95% crystalline structure, which ensures maximum strength. It is resistant to abrasion, chemicals, and UV light, end uses, and future potential. Dyneema is used in a wide range of industries and applications. For example, use in lightweight ropes, crane ropes, fishing nets, bulletproof vests, ballistic helmets, armor vehicles, climbing ropes, outdoor gears, sutures and implants. The legacy of Dyneema, from its humble beginnings in a Dutch lab to becoming the strongest fiber in the world, Dyneema is not just a fiber, it's a revolution. If you enjoyed learning about Dyneema, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Textile Knowledge. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.